Hi friends, thanks for coming back for another video. This is the first one I'm doing here in Mexico City. I've been here for a week now and looking back on, on the last vlog that I did uh, as I was leaving New Zealand, I think I looked a little fra frazzled in quite a lot of that, but that's because it was really hot and there was a lot going on and I just kind of felt like, oh my God, my life is changing and I don't know what's going to happen next. So, um, so here I am, I'm in a park trying to have a quiet, chat to you before it gets too crazy here. There's lots of people out walking their dogs which is a big thing here in the park and I want to tell you a little bit about what my first week has been like. First off I thought I'd tell you a few facts about Mexico City. 22 million people live in Mexico City but obviously not in this park. Um, there's a few people here but not 22 million of them. The altitude of Mexico City is 2200 meters so that's something I've had to get used to. You can't walk as far or do as much in a day until you get used to the altitude here. I left New Zealand in the middle of summer. It was really hot and humid. I've arrived in Mexico in winter, which means it's a similar temperature, but it's very, very dry. So the other day it was 28 degrees Celsius, but only 17% humidity. Another thing about coming to Mexico that I found is that you really, really need to speak some Spanish. Puede escribirlo, por favor. Can you please write it down? Me gustaría aprender un poco de su lengua. Oh, I'd done some Spanish lessons in New Zealand last year before I came, as well as, as you saw in one of my earlier vlogs, uh, learning Spanish in my car. Quiero comprar dos cervezas. And I'm so glad I did all of that, but even that wasn't enough, and I have been struggling to be understood here, which is really good because. <laughs> which is really good because I'll sign up for a language school once I get to Oaxaca. The area that I'm staying in is a really old part of Mexico City called Condesa. There's a lot of parks, a lot of tree-lined streets. It's really safe. The traffic is amazing. It's so courteous and everything seems to be very geared towards um, being pedestrian friendly. No matter where you are, there always seems to be a crossing and cars slowing down to let you through. It's not manic. The way I've been getting around mostly is by Uber and that is an absolute amazing thing to have here because it's just meant even with my lack of Spanish that I've been able to go all kinds of places and even even come back at night which is a bit of a no-no uh, but with Uber it's actually very safe and the rest of the time I'm just walking on my own feet. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed is the footpaths are pretty bad in most places so you have to look down a lot of the time to make sure you're not going to trip over. There are heaps of dogs and lots of squirrels like Carlos the squirrel and Carlos the chihuahua. Had a great time with those guys but they've unfortunately decided to take off and go somewhere else for the winter. As well as trying to acclimatise to the altitude and everything that's so different here. I've been doing a few trips to places such as the Frida Kahlo house, the blue house, where Frida Kahlo was born, uh, did her art and then died. I've been to the Torture Museum, which was horrendous, which showed lots of stuff about European torture. Gross. And I've been to the Zocalo. The Zoka, Zoka, Zocalo. Fuck me. Can't even say it. Which is the big square in the middle of the city where there's always protests going on and people dancing and doing stuff, but it's absolutely beautiful and the cathedral there is stunning. And the National Palace too, where Diego Rivera's murals are all over the walls. That is just mind-boggling as well. It's a really underrated city, I think. Mexico gets a lot of bad press, and some of that's justified, but not all of it is. It's an amazing place, and just found I've just been so welcomed here and feel really happy to be here. One thing I didn't know before I came here was if my laptop and phone chargers would work on the voltage here, because it's a different voltage to New Zealand. We're 240 volts in here, I think it's 110. All I needed to get was the right adapter. I didn't need to get a current converter. Voltage converter. I didn't need any converters. I got a Mexican SIM card as soon as I got here. I paid 500 pesos or about 38 New Zealand dollars for data and calls. This is the ATM I've used and it has English and Spanish which was a huge relief because if it had been only Spanish I would have been fucked. And this is the place that I'm staying in. It's called Tower B and B, and it's above an Argentinian restaurant called Patagonia. This is my room. How have I been feeling? I've been feeling a mixture of um, 
freaked out and slightly terrified and calm and ridiculously happy. It's always hard adjusting to a place you've never been to before where you don't know anyone, but I've met heaps of Canadians actually here who have, you know, I've had dinner with them, I've gone to a movie with them, I've got plans to meet up with some next week and that's all within the first week and that's what I really love about solo travellers that it forces you out of yourself, it forces you to connect with other people and just to really just to say yes to every invitation and to go with it and just to see what happens. I feel, I feel woken up. On Monday, the 11th of Feb, which is I think tomorrow, I hope it's tomorrow, if I get this video up on Sunday, I'm catching a bus to Oaxaca, which is a city about seven hours drive south, west, east, west, so, <laughs> southwest of here, or east or west, one of those, one of those, those ways, where I'm staying for the next couple of months, so that will be another new thing, is catching a bus in Mexico by myself, uh, and that's where I, I do get a little bit anxious, I guess, but I kind of just calm myself down and tell myself it'll be all right and just chill and don't be a dickhead and things will work out. So thanks for watching friends, thanks for coming back for another video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway. Uh, leave your comments down below. Um, leave them on YouTube if you can rather than Facebook because I'll post this on Facebook as well. But by posting and engaging with me in YouTube, it really helps me grow my channel, which is what I really want to do while I'm here. Oh, yeah, and also if you've got any questions that I haven't answered in any of my vlogs, please just put them down below in the comments so that I can answer them because I would really like to know what you want to know about what I'm doing here. So fire your questions away and I'll answer them. Adios.